नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई हैव बीन रिकॉर्डिंग दिस इज विथ रिगार्ड्स टू द वेरी सब्जेक्ट ऑफ संस्कृत वर्सेस नाट्यशास्त्र फॉर विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी बीन पब्लिशिंग आर्टिकल्स इन माई न्यूज लेटर called brahmi to gupta to natya shastra for which there have been already 26 episodes and on sanskrit 50 episodes respectively which i have been posting however for the very purpose of audience and professionals i started doing recording for the purpose of understanding the conceptual understanding of what really mantra and what is it that sanskrit language really means a divine subject in itself the point over here is today in the current generation we tend to forget that the very subject of sanskrit is not about the language or from the rigveda or samaveda point of view but sanskrit is all about the inner reengineering and the realigning of the mind from the conscious point of view or the conscious awareness today in the current generation what is happening is none of us are aware about the subject what really happens when we tend to pronounce or produce the sound when we use the aspect of sanskrit sounds or the shabda veda in sanskrit the very important point is that sanskrit has certain sounds that clears all kinds of ailments of a personality as a whole that is taking towards near to perfection though it has two aspects of it one is drashta and drushya drashta here means something wherein you take the subject from the objective point of view your intuition starts working from the intuitive point of view that is the reason why we say manana trayate iti mantra mananat manana over here means mind trayate trayate is again the conceptual understanding of the trai vargas srishti laya jati we need to understand sanskrit from that point of view iti iti means this state mantra ha 
Mantraha over here means something that you are meditating upon. Manana trayate iti mantraha. That is the reason why when you sit on a meditation posture or when you meditate upon or when you do spiritual practices or when you do yajnas or homas, what happens is they recite certain Vedic hymns which has certain frequencies. which directly or indirectly affects our body from the nadi point of view wherein we have 72,000 nadis we need to understand from the angika point of view and vachika point of view aharyam is the different aspect altogether. Angikam and Vachikam. Angikam over here is using your Angas, Upangas or whatever your bodily parts. Vachikam is something wherein you are imbibing that. You need to understand that. That is the reason why when you hear the song, you get those vibrations in the, in the body with certain frequencies. So that is where Shastra, initially Natya Shastra was Shastra. We need to understand that. Natya Shastra, again, it has been renamed by seers, Rishis and Munis. Understand this. To my perception, it's not a conclusive statement. You need to understand, ladies and gentlemen. The point over here is why this Shastra or Natya Shastra came into picture? Why am I talking Sanskrit language in cross reference to Natya Shastra? The point is, during the period of evolution, wherein multiverse existed, that's when actually, like, this human existence or the colonization started. They need to have certain qualities, right? They need to understand. They need to have a proper colloquial language. It's not about like having that science of sound from the silence point of view. This is where the Nada Upasana's concept or the Nada Upasana's aspects come into picture. We need to understand from the Nada Upasana, Nada plus Upasana, Nada Upasana. This is where the Trayivarga of the Sanskrit language starts. Understand this. At the same time, whatever Shastra that I am talking about, over here, so called science of sound is directly related to the human existence from the consciousness point of view. Today, professionals in the field of scientific and medical field are still trying to find that solution. This has already been told in Vedas and Upanishads 50,000 years back. If we go with Lalita Sahasrama or Vishnu Sahasrama or if we go with Devi Khadgama, we have to understand this. 
the point is if we are able to understand this concept the very complex and the deep delving subject of the consciousness aspects to the core is easily understood one is manana wherein you are in consistently trying to recite that mantra or consistently doing that chanting you are doing that manana on that point which is called bindu again it's a kind of bindu it's not that you think of that point nodal point understand this and once this thing is done this is this happens in meditation in yoga practice you have a posture wherein you put anjali mudra from where the energy starts producing and bombarding from mooladhara to sahasra this is a very key point that one needs to understand how do you distribute that and other part is reading those vedic scriptures or you know vedic listening to vedic hymns or listening to these devotional songs the most easiest part is the natyam part natyam part of dramatization or you know getting into the state of the character trying to you know you you are actually like trying to you know making it a point that you are empathizing yourself getting into that character that for for that 20 minutes or 5 minutes or 1 hour that is also a kind of meditation which is more easier to catch up with that multiverse and become one in that multiverse so called anu and parmanu aspect comes into picture over here so whole of the concept of shastra or natya shastra has clearly defined or given the proper definition of natya shastra as a whole ladies and gentlemen this is the beauty of the beauty of vedas and upanishads or the sanskrit language primarily sanskrit language if we really want to define or if we really want to you know understand from the divine point of view dance is one medium which will really help one and all to understand think about it this is the first part of my sanskrit versus natya shastra wherein wherein i am trying to explain what exactly happens when he or she listens to the lyrics lyrics are lyrics are the decipheration of the cryptic decipheration of the cryptic sanskrit language at its depth understand ladies and gentlemen thanks again i thank you all for taking the time to hear and i would love to have comments i would love someone to even 
लाइक सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो दैट दिस कुड हेल्प मी टू गिव द प्रॉपर नॉलेज टू वन एंड ऑल एट द सेम टाइम रिक्वेस्टिंग द व्यूअर्स और द professionals in case they have any kind of works relating to translation or anything like that i would take up please do let me know to my email address which is already there i have a newsletter in linkedin you can type in naradla ramachan and even in youtube channel youtube when you go to youtube type in naradla ramachandra you will find my recordings thus i conclude my video with a positive note stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with you have a nice day